Well, you talk about a guy that has really come into his own. That is Mike Hurlbut, and he is standing by. Mike, what was your take on that first period? Are you surprised at how wide open it was? Well, you know, a little bit we uh, we wanted to come out and get a good lead and uh, and play with a lead rather than try to play catch up. And uh, it was pretty wide open. We gave up a few more chances than uh, when we really liked to. But uh, both, like you said, both goalies played great, and uh, we've got to tighten up in our own end. We think we'll be in good shape. Mike, you have a pretty hard shot, and uh, you find yourself on the power play quite a bit because of that. Uh, from a, from your point of view, do you try and score on that shot? Or no, I'm you, just. Or do you just try and like get it on the net? I'm I'm just trying to get it on the net, and uh, you know I've got kind of got a reputation as an offensive defenseman, and uh, most of it's just from shooting the puck and uh, creating offense that way rather than leading the rush like a lot of defensemen do. But uh, you know I just try to hit the net every time, and uh, hopefully the guys are there to put the rebounds in. You fully recovered from your neck injury, and it seems a thing of the past. Do you feel you're dialed in? Do you feel you're playing your best hockey right now? Um, uh, well, I, I always think I can play better than I do, but uh, you know I'm trying to uh, trying to trying to play well every night and uh, show up to play every night and, and work real hard. And uh, the neck is something that I've I've put behind me uh, for the most part off the ice uh, and you know on the ice especially. I've just you know I've really kind of tuned out and uh, you know I'm just trying to uh, concentrate on playing. And the, and the neck thing, uh, you know, it, it's always stiff, but it's something that could be like that uh, you know for quite a while. But uh, it is behind me and it doesn't affect my play whatsoever. Mike, you even mentioned it yourself. You're considered somewhat of an offensive defenseman. Do you think Dave Tippett's defensive style has hurt that at all? Oh no, I think uh, the system that we're playing now is uh, has played into into my style of game uh, very well. It uh, you know allows me to stand up at the offensive blue line and uh, and keep the gap close, which uh, allows me to pick up some loose pucks at, at the blue line and again, like I said, get the shots on the net. And uh, defensively, uh, Gord Krupke and I have played uh, I think very well right from the start together, and uh, we've kind of meshed together and. I watched Gordy for about f three or four years playing against him enough when he was in Adirondack and I was in the American League. So uh, we're, I think we're playing pretty well together and uh, taking care of our end first and then uh, hopefully the offense will come. How about the guy you're playing in front of tonight? Troy Gamble seems to be on fire once again. Well, you know, there's there's a guy that uh, was kind of almost written out of the picture uh, just a few weeks ago and now all of a sudden uh, he's got to be playing as well as any goaltender in the league and uh, it makes a big difference when the goalie's playing great as Greener, as Greener would know. Uh, when the goalie's playing real well, it gives everybody on the team a lot more confidence and, uh, you know, we're building off uh, his good play and then starting right out and uh, carrying out uh, offensively we're carrying that good play right uh, into their team's end. Mike on the lighter side of things how are you enjoying Houston in that 90 degree weather? Well it's uh, it's pretty nice considering where I came from and in, uh, in Minnesota I, I believe uh, right after I was traded it was about 60 below there which is in December <laughs> and then uh, you know just a month or so ago it was that cold again so uh, we're really enjoying it and uh, the trade was a good one for myself and my family. It uh, gave me a chance to start over and start fresh again. And uh, we really enjoy the organization and the coaching staff and, of course, all the guys on the team. A great bunch to play with. And uh, really looking forward to playing some uh, some real good hockey here down the uh, last 20 games of the year and make the playoffs. And uh, hopefully good things will happen then. Well, Mike, not only was it a good trade for yourself, but it was a great trade for the Houston Arrows. And uh, good, jo good job this uh, evening. And keep it going. And good luck throughout the rest of the year. Okay. Thanks, Adam. Okay. Mike Hurlbut joins us in the first interview.